Well hello there friends, today a little bit of a shopping uh, haul vlog Just came back from uh, a wonderful wonderful evening with my amazing grandmother Got some stuff for the crib, also got some stuff for the for videos, yes Ugh, Let me get you, got a big ass bag full of exotic candy Like for you guys in America this is normal but this is exotic here Got some beautiful towels, uh, might as well show you guys what I bought A couple of towels, a green towel Take them out honestly, shall we? Yeah, nice green and a pink towel. I love pink. What can I say? It was really wonderful spending time with my grandma. It was really nice. So, uh, yeah, we went to. Uh, well, I don't want to. Don't want to say necessarily where we went, but we went to a nice location, undisclosed location, private location. No, I'm just kidding. Awesome. Really had a nice time today. So, your boy got some stuff. Now, I'm not gonna try these things. Like, damn it, no, because I want to use it for video. But basically, we went to Yamin. And um, they had American candies. Now you guys know I fucking love candy. God damn it, I love candy. But before we go to that, your boy went to uh, like a cheap a cheap store. It's called like you know like a, a pound shop in Amer in UK. Basically the same thing here. We have some. I'm assuming this is Turkish stuff. I don't know what this. It, it's soap. I want to say it is Turkish, but let me just see if it actually is. Yeah, it's Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. Turkish soap. Bought it because it was cheap. And it smelled good, really. That's the only reason why I bought it. And I got this. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this? This is basically for when I want to keep my window open at night time. And have no insects coming in. So, we might as well unpack it. I need to see if it even actually fits. If not, then I'm completely fucked. I have no clue what this is in God's name is. But we shall find out. No instructions. Uh, I think I don't know what it is. Actually, let's just keep it in the box. Got this at the Zenos. Really, really cool. Spent. No, actually, I actually didn't spend that much today. No, actually, quite nice. Got this. Now this is. Oh my god, this stuff is hella expensive. It's like eight euro normally, two euro fifty. Indian tiger balm. So basically, when you got like a sore throat, apply a little bit, dude, it works. It helps. Trust me. I speak from experience. Your boy got this. Jarritos mango natural flavor soda at the Zenos as well. Uh, a Spanish slash Mexican drink. Looks really interesting as well. It looks really delicious. <laughs> Takis. I've heard of them before. Some people say they're fucking disgusting. Some people say they're great. Five euro fifty. Five dollar twenty for a bag. I don't know if this costs five dollars in the USA. It probably don't. I'm assuming because if that's the case, that's expensive. Uh, blue heat. God knows what it tastes like. It's extreme. Artificially flavored tortilla chips. Why do you do everything artificial? There's more air than actual food, but um, yeah, I tried it. Out for, might as well try it out for a video. Takis, let me know down in the comments. Are these good or not? I don't know. Got this as well. Smoothie Skittles. I've seen these before in Amsterdam. The weird thing is, the place we went to today, it had more candy than the one in Amsterdam. Really weird for some reason, even though it was smaller, the shop. Well, anyways, we got this as well. Calypso, not sure what this is. Uh, Taste of the Islands Pineapple Peach Limeade? Shake well, real lime bits. Does it actually have real lime in it? I can't judge it, but this is it. This is like Cari Car Caribbean stuff or something. Do you guys drink this on the islands? I don't know. I've never seen it, but it's imported. It's got a shitload of fucking sugar in it. God damn, dude. It's got a lot of sugar in here. Yeah, obviously they... S yeah, well, let's see how much sugar is actually in here. Ooh, this is satisfying. I oh, love that. And uh, let's see. Coloring food, concentrate of carrot. Oh my god, 11 grams of sugar. Oh, that is definitely a lot. Anyways, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, it does have actually... Yeah, it does have bits of lime in there. That's interesting. Wow, wow, wow. As a foreign... As a Dutch person, foreign stuff excites me. What can I say? And we got this. Vegetarian stove pot here. 2 euro. Normally 3, 3, 3, 3 euro 50 or something. Vegetarian stuff. Really nice. I thought I'd buy it. And these. What are they? Oh yeah. I got a key ring because, well, for my house key, uh, I needed something. I thought I'd just buy an official licensed product of Nintendo. That's interesting. Mike and Ike. Now, that's what I got hands down. I uh, have never had Mike and Ike, but apparently this is what people put in there. Lean or something? Candy or something? I don't know. It looks... I've, I've seen it before, but God knows if it's good. It's vegetarian, which, um, unfortunately, some items were with gelatin. It was like... God fucking damn it. Like nerd ropes had gelatin in it. I was like, God damn it, I wanted it. But it's got gelatin. So your boy got this and um 
What is up with all these food colorings, man? Why do you have so many artificial flavored candy? Like, is it nothing natural? No offense, but why is it all artificially? It don't matter. We've also got some, believe it or not, believe it or not, I didn't know they served this. They didn't serve this in Amsterdam. They got vegan cola fleshes. Plant-based, how awesome is that? Yeah, man, uh, completely plant-based. I got tennis balls. I know you like balls in your mouth. Got some, yeah, whatever these hardy, round little balls, pearl, they look like pearls. And uh, look at the tennis ball, it's as big as my testicles. All right, sorry. And no, my neighbors aren't having coitus. I did not I did not join them, no. Sorry to disappoint you. My dad likes flake and it'd be very selfish if I don't, don't buy him stuff. He loves fucking chocolate. He loves it, man. And I uh, also got th <laughs> for my toothbrush. I, I had to get this, man. It was kawaii as fuck. So I was like, I have to get it. I got no choice. Uh, what else do we have? A little cute tiny bottle of apple. Well, it was apple juice. Makes quite nice sounds, actually. I have all the receipts because your boy keeps the receipts and counts up how much he spends in a month. But always make sure you keep your receipts. Always keep your receipts. So I went to Yamin and I got a shitload. 28 euro. It's imported. Not too bad. I actually assume. Got another Dorito. Doritos Guava Natural Flavor Soda. This stuff looks really good. I love imported stuff. I Man, it always excites me. It makes me really, uh, make me bricked up. You know what I'm saying? Got another flaky because my dad loves flake. Awesome. I don't like flake personally. That's my personal decision. I don't like flake that much. Yes. With a little knickerchief in there as well. It's so cool. So basically what you do, you unwrap this. You push it up and you push it in. And then this little ball. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this little tiny ball. Yeah, you see that marble? It goes in there and it makes it fizzy. It's, it's a pain in the fucking ass to drink out of though. But it's... <laughs> I love this. I'm assuming this is strawberry. Yet again, I don't know. It's Korea, it's Asian, so I can't read it. Well, I can, but I don't know what it says. How many more fucking receipts do we have? Damn. <laughs> well, I got four receipts here. Your boy, you know, I didn't splash too much. Six fifty. Um, let's see. Six fifty. So, well, let's see. Ten euro, seventeen. Forty-five euro today. That's uh. Like I said, I hardly go shopping, but I keep my receipts always, just in case. Just in case. I like keeping my stuff. Got more receipts. God damn, how many receipts do I have? What's this shit? I already have the receipt. I mean, I don't need that, but uh, yeah, we basically... And this is bizarre, right? Um, just make sure that they are vegetarian. Yes, they have no gelatin. Awesome, awesome. Jelly beans, sour warheads. I didn't know they had, they didn't sell this in Amsterdam, I swear to god, it's so fucking weird, man, you'd assume Amsterdam would sell it all, but they don't, jelly beans, so basically in this, sour jelly beans, my jelly beans got a tangy bite, well that's a bit weird, sour crunch on the outside, sweet and fruity inside, alright, pucker up and eat them like the awesome candy they are, and these fruity flavours, contain lemon, orange, green apple, watermelon, black cherry, blue raspberry, noise, made in Brazil, wait, so you're telling me this is fucking Brazilian, okay, that's interesting. So it's just distributed by Impact Conf Confections Inc. Janesville. Y double I. But it's made in Brazil. Okay, so it's a Brazilian brand, I suppose? Probably not. And we got these. I must admit, I love exotic candy, bro. That stuff always tastes so good. And uh, why not, you know? It's also vegetarian, which, surprising enough, a uh, style patch is vegetarian. I don't know if it's vegan, but... Um, well, yeah, it is vegan, but I'm not sure if it's 100% like vegan safe, but it don't, I don't matter. Distributed, made in Canada. So, Sour Patches are made in Canada and Warheads are made in Brazil. Okay. Basically, Sour Patch Kids Tropical. Artificially flavored, again. What is up with you, America's f flavoring everything artificially? God damn it. It's so, it must be unhealthy. No offense to any of my American views. I love y'all, but this stuff ain't healthy. Can't be healthy. But anyways... Flavors, we have passion fruit, tropical twist, pineapple, and paradise punch. Now my question is, will they actually like look like this as well? Or they will be disappointing? Let's hope not. But that's basically kind of it. God damn it. At the yummy. Might as well pack everything back in. Might as well, honestly. Yeah, this stuff looks really nice. Packing everything that we're going to use for video. This isn't American, but we're still going to use it because, hey, why not? It looks nice. Oh, no. Nah, not going to assume that now. Mike and Ike. Jolly Just Chewy Grape Flavor Candy. I'm more excited about these. I'll be honest. Because I've had Sour Packs before. I'll keep it honest with you guys. I've had it before. Really good though. 
I'm gonna try and see if I can put this on my blind. Turkish soap. Turkish products are so awesome. I don't know why. I just love complimenting them because they make good stuff, quality so. But my grandmother's making a goddamn record right now. I'm not sure what she's doing. But might as well keep these in smoothies, skittles. Never heard of I have heard of Ara, but I never bought it. But uh, yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed this little shopping vlog thing. I didn't record because I didn't want to take my goddamn camera with. It was much fun. My grandmother's a pain in the ass a little bit. But you know, I do love her, so I can't be mad at her. But yeah, no, really nice. Like I said, keep your receipts, especially if you live on your own. Recommendation is keep your receipts, people. It's always important. If an item doesn't work, just say fuck it, I'll go back. Get Hopefully get my money back. And um, yeah, really, really happy. The taxes is insane. Like we pay a lot of taxes, dude. I paid three euro tax in the candy. It's heavy. Oh well, it was fun and all this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. And uh, Super Mario is pretty dope, I suppose. Peace out.